The Fox and the Crow Stroll, meaning, walk in a leisurely way. Sentence, I strolled around the city. Sniffing, meaning, the action of drawing in air audibly through the nose. Sentence, he is easy to find due to his sniffing and sneezing. Instance, meaning, an example or single occurrence of something. Sentence, a serious instance of corruption. Cunning, meaning, skill in achieving one's ends by deceit. Sentence, a cunning look came into his eyes. Wander, meaning, walk or move in a leisurely or aimless way. Sentence, I wandered through the narrow streets. Strike, meaning, hit forcibly and deliberately with one's hand or a weapon or other implement. Sentence, he raised his hand, as if to strike me. Pleasant, meaning, giving a sense of happy satisfaction or enjoyment. Sentence, a very pleasant evening. Suspicious, meaning, with a cautious distrust or suspicion of someone or something. Sentence, he was arrested after behaving suspiciously. Flatter, meaning, cause, someone, to feel honored and pleased. Sentence, I was very flattered to be given the commission. Soothing, meaning, having a gently calming effect. Sentence, she put on some soothing music. Skeptical, meaning, not easily convinced, having doubts or reservations. Sentence, the public were deeply skeptical about some of the proposals. Heaped, meaning, of a spoon or other receptacle, having its contents piled above the brim or edge. Sentence, a heaped teaspoon of sugar. Relish, meaning, enjoy greatly. Sentence, he was relishing his moment of glory. The Fox and the Crow On a beautiful morning, the fox strolls sniffing around in the forest. In search of something to munch on, he spots a crow sitting on a branch of a giant tree. A bite of cheese held by the crow in its beak catches the attention of the fox. In the first instance, the fox does not pay much attention. But when he looks at the crow for the second time, his cunning mind starts thinking of ideas for stealing the cheese bite. I need not wonder any more to find my breakfast, who wouldn't like to have a piece of yummy cheese, thinks the sly fox. He walks up to the foot of the tree and tries to strike a conversation with the crow. Good morning. You beautiful crow, said the fox in a pleasant voice. The crow looks at the fox suspiciously and tightens her grip on the cheese. She does not respond to fox's greetings. Fox continues to flatter the crow, he says. What a beautiful bird you are. Such silky and shiny feathers. You are a bird with spectacular wings. The crow falls for it. The fox notices a change in the crow's expression and tries to woo her one more time by saying, Such a pretty crow must have a pleasant soothing voice. Can I request the queen of all birds, crow, to please sing a song for me? The initially skeptical crow now forgets all her suspicion and is flattered by the praise heaped on her by the fox. To utter her loudest caw, she opens her mouth big and wide. Cow. The cheese falls off the crow's beak straight down into the fox's open mouth. The fox cheekily thanks the crow and walks away, relishing on the cheese. Before leaving, he also mocks the crow by saying maybe you have a sweet voice, but where have you lost your wits? Moral of the story
never fall for flattering words. In this story, the crow gets influenced by the fox and is blinded by false appreciation. The crow lost her food, and the fox gained it by cheating. Therefore, we should always beware of flatterers and never trust anyone blindly.